Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, yeah, Luis, I've spent two years iterating this message, right? Mm-hmm. So like at first people didn't really understand it. At first, my friends of my old legacy business relationship, business world, they're just like, well, look at Pablo on Instagram trying to be an influencer. That's what he's doing. <laughs> but then as they start looking yeah. at the content, for example, this guy reached out, he's just like, dude, when I first started watching you post content, I'd be like, oh, okay, there's Pablo being funny. Cool. And then Next time I saw you a little while later, I was like, I started listening a little bit, but I wouldn't click in to watch the rest of the IGTV video. And then one time I did, and then now I can't stop doing it. (laughs) And I need to know what the fuck you're doing, right? Like, like I need to know what you're doing, right? And, and And I broke it down to him like this. When you are in the relationship business world, right? lawyer, accountant, banker, whatever. At the end of the day, I think everything is the relationship business world, yeah, right? Like we, we, yes, we agree absolutely. on this, right? Yeah, like, 100%. Um, no matter if you're a software, you're still in the relationship business world, right? Like, it's yeah. all about, like, everything can be commoditized. It's all about how you treat your clients yeah. and what they think of you before they leave you for whatever else comes new, right? So yeah. when you are in the relationship business world, what used to be the ultimate sales machine was, I'm going to take my client to dinner. Right. And what happens at dinner? You spend an hour with somebody talking about their hopes and dreams and what they're up to, and what their family's doing and whatever. And yeah. then you're like, oh, well, how can I help you out? Blah, 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 blah. Right. Like that is that was the relationship building tool. Yeah. Uh, still is. Right. Golf game. We we're just talking about golf. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hours with somebody on a golf course or that's, a, or that's, a right? poker tournament. Yeah. We're just, just talking, just talking about, about it. Yeah. Right. So so that's everybody understands that that's a relationship building tool. So everybody understands like a deep. Um, conversation with somebody brings you closer to somebody, allows you to do business with them, maybe not immediately, but long term because they're close to your fold. Yeah. Then, if you also understand this stage concept, and which isn't hard to understand for people, right? Like people kind of intuitively get that. The idea of featuring somebody as a keynote speaker at your event um, is a super value add to somebody, right? Like if you're yeah. like, not all, oh, so, so let's take it back step, one step further. If I introduce you to somebody, that's a value add. Everybody mm-hmm. gets that, right? So Absolutely. like, so now if I'm not just introducing you, but I'm also putting you on stage in front of a hundred of clients, that's a huge value add, yeah. right? So now if you mix the two of them, right? What yeah. if you have this intimate dinner relationship in front of a hundred of your clients mm-hmm. and oh, by the way, it now lives forever in a way that Jen can consume it right now mm-hmm. in the way that Justin can consume it on podcast right now. Cause he's listening right now, or yeah. in a way that as you're scrolling through Instagram, your old friend you haven't talked to in three months can be like, Oh, here's a three minute little tidbit of Luis. What's he up to yeah. and consume it that way. Right. So like yeah. when you explain it in the sense of like, these are just the same old relationship mechanisms, then the interview is the dinner, the, the doing it live in front of an audience or doing it on facebook or just doing a podcast yeah. is the stage keynote and then the repurposing of the content that you guys do so freaking well better than anybody else in the world <laughs> you. is you. the automated follow-up mechanism is the how do i introduce you oh i'm just going to forward you this instagram clip of my friend oh i'm just going to forward you this podcast yeah. it is the enabler of introductions for everybody and the follow-up mechanism if you're doing it consistently and you're just showing up in people's yeah, feeds absolutely. once a day three times a day five times a day whatever right 75 a day 75. Shut, shut out to, to Holly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, or, yeah. Or, or, or not just that, right? But like showing up in multiple forms the way that you guys have perspe- perfected, right? Like if I'm showing up, if I'm showing up four times a day, let's just say once a day on Instagram, I'm showing up once a day on LinkedIn, I'm showing up once a day on Facebook, I'm showing up once a week in my podcast feed, I'm showing up once a week on YouTube, I'm showing up once a week in my email inbox, yeah. and, and, I, and you know, and, and, and I'm showing up once a week in a blog, but it's not invasive, right? Like it's not like... You're not sitting there like trying to sell anybody. All you're doing is putting people on a stage and allowing them to enroll into the audience as opposed to beating them over the head of, oh, yeah, no, be my client. No, no, it's not be my client. It's like, here, if you like this, this is for you. Or you can scroll right past it. You can delete the email. No big deal. But when you break it down to people like that, now they understand that this is a dinner, golf game, keynote speech, slash CRM all in one. 